All right, so we continue with more quadratic formula song, songs, um, examples. Um, again, just remember you want everything in standard form, so you may have to do some multiplying out. You may have to deal with, you know, you don't want the fractions with the x squared and the x. So we got to take care of that first. So we're going to FOIL this. We do 2x times 3x and get 6x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Negative 3x plus 2 equals 4. Combine any like terms. 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 equals 4. And then remember we do want 0 um, on one side, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So we have 6x squared minus 7x minus 2 equals 0. I just did 2 minus 4. I combined those like terms. All right, so now let's go ahead and identify our a, b, and c. a is 6, b is negative 7, and c is negative 2. Be careful with those um, negative values. You need to make sure that negative stays with the number. All right, so now we're going to solve with the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b, so we have a negative, negative 7, so that's important to note, we'll talk about that in a minute, plus or minus the square root of b squared, see how I'm putting that negative 7 in parentheses, minus 4ac all over 2a. Alright, so a negative, negative 7 becomes positive, plus or minus the square root of I actually don't need a square root that big probably because we're going to go ahead and simplify that down. If you do all that math, you get a 97. Again, go ahead and use your calculator, but be very careful. Put parentheses exactly where I put them. That's how we're going to get that 97. If you miss some parentheses, you're likely to get a different number. All right, so here's our answer. I'm going to look at the 7, the 12, and then, well, first... Look at the square root of 97. Can we reduce that? That cannot be reduced down with any perfect squares. So next, we look at the 7, the 12, and the number in front of the square root. Can all three of those be reduced by the same number? And they cannot, which is why this is our final answer. All right, let's try another one. You guys kind of like these? Maybe. Um, okay, so we have fractions. So let's go ahead and do our little fraction trick to get rid of that because um, we want it to look more standard like the ones we've been doing. You can multiply everything by the common denominator of 4. 4 times x squared is 4x squared divided by 2 is 2x squared. 4 times 3 is 12, so plus 12 equals. 4 times x is 4x divided by 4 is just x. All right, so we want everything on one side, 0 on the other side, so I'm going to subtract x from both sides, leaving us with 2x squared. I'm going to put that minus x after the x squared, so everything's in the proper order, plus 12 equals 0. All right, so now it looks better. We can identify our a, b, and c. a is 2. b is, there's a negative and nothing in front of the x, so that's going to be a negative 1, and c is 12. And then we just plug in. x equals negative b. So see how I did a negative negative 1 plus or minus the square root. These parentheses are on that negative 1 before we square it. It's very important. Minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, so negative negative 1 is positive 1 plus or minus. Grab your calculator. Let's do all that math and see what you get. You should get a negative 95 all over 4. All right, well, first take a look at the radical. How do you feel about a square root of negative 95? Hopefully not that great because we want to go ahead and bring in i. So that's i times the square root of a positive 95. Now we would say, can you reduce the square root of 95? You cannot. So we'll leave that alone. And now we're looking to see if we can reduce any of the numbers in these three spots. The so 1, I guess the number with the i or the 4. And because we cannot, we have our final answer.